Hi guys, it's me Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will do multiplying integers. This topic is for the grade 7 students and for the other people who are willing to learn this kind of topic. Again, there are different operations for integers. We have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. We are done discussing addition and subtraction. Right now, our task is to multiply integers. Without further ado, let's do this topic. Now, we all know that in integers, there are two different signs. We have the positive numbers and we have the negative numbers. So you need to memorize or you need to know what is a negative number and what is a positive number. Because in multiplying two integers, ito lang yung ating reasons or yung ating rule. If the signs are the same, the product is positive. Again, if the signs of the integers are the same, the product is positive. So let's focus here. We have here a positive number multiplied by a positive number. Automatic, as you can see, the two integers here has the same signs. So automatically, the product of those integers is positive positive. Now how about this one? We need to multiply two negative integers, negative times negative. The product is positive. Why? Because the rule of the integer, if the two integers have the same sign, automatic, their product is equal to positive. Let's go with the next rule. If the signs are different, the product is negative. So focus tayo dito. You have a positive integer multiplied by a, by a negative integer. So as you can see, they have different signs. So automatically, the product of these integers is none other than a negative number. Okay, so let's move on. Another possible combination is that one integer is negative and the other is positive. As you can see, by inspection, the two signs are different. So, ganun lang. Ang tatandaan nyo lang, kapag parehas ng sign, the product is positive. Kapag magkaibang sign, ang product nila is a negative answer. So, let's have these examples. Find the product of the following integers. As you can see, you have here the first example, 3, sorry, 5 times 6. So, basically, in our elementary days, when you're using multiplication table or you just memorize what is the product of 5 and 6 ang pinaka product niya is 30 so paano natin ini-apply dito yung rule in multiplying integers we know that if wala tayong nakikitang sign na nakasulat sa number automatic we will assume that this is positive and this is positive and then applying the rule as you can see you have here a positive number a positive sign they are the same, automatic, your answer is also a positive product. So, yun yung basic example natin for item number 1. So, we have applied the first rule. Next, let's move on to item number 2. You have negative 8 times negative 4. So, as you can see, the sign of 8 is negative, and the sign of 4 is also negative. And you're right, they have the same signs so obviously you will be writing here a positive and then just multiply the numbers 8 and 4 you have 32 again why is that our answer is a positive integer because the signs are the same two numbers or the two integers are negative numbers so we can erase this the positive one so the correct answer is 32. Let's move on to item number 3. For number 3, um, gumamit ako ng parentheses for us to show that the numbers are being multiplied. So we have negative 2 times 9. So what is the product? So look at the sign of 2. This is negative. 
and this is positive. So as you can see, the signs are different. So normally, you will be writing here a negative answer and then you simply multiply the numbers. 2 times 9 is 18. So the correct answer for item number 3 is negative 18. Now let's move on to item number 4. So we have your 10 times negative 5. Your first number or integer is positive and the other is negative. So obviously this is a negative answer. So you have negative and then 10 times 5 that will give you 50. Okay, that's it for item number 4. For number 5, we have negative 4 times 7. This is negative, this is positive, so we will assume or we will conclude that the product is negative, so you have negative, then 4 times 7, that will give you 28. So, pinapay natin, pinapay natin yung rule number 2 natin for item or example number 3, number 4, number 5, we're in. If the integers has different signs, automatically, the product is negative. So let's move on with more complicated example wherein uh, we will multiply three or more integers but applying the same rule. Uh, apply pa rin natin same rule na meron tayo. So you have negative so you have 4 times negative 2 times negative 5. Mentally I can easily find the product of these integers. But I will show you the step by step process para madali yung master yung topic natin. So basically when you multiply, when you have this, this is positive, this is negative. Multiplying these two numbers, that will give you negative 8 because they are different. And then you need to copy this one times negative 5. Again, your negative 8 natin, it came from the product of 4 and negative 2. So multiplying these two numbers again, it will give you, look at the sign negative, negative, so they have the same signs, so positive ang answer natin. And multiplying 8 and 5, that is 40. So simply, your answer is 40. Okay? Let's move on to item number 7. So you have negative 2 times negative 4 times negative 3 times negative times 6. So we need to multiply it simply by 2 and negative 2 and negative 4, that is a positive answer so you have 8 times negative 3 times 6 in unti unti lang natin and then multiplying these two numbers as you can see the numbers has different signs so you have a negative sign for your product and multiply 8 and 3 so you have 24 times 6 okay and then multiplying these two numbers that will give you a negative answer okay and then 24 times 6 is 144 so i hope that given the seven examples you will rather learn how to multiply integers using the same rule if kapag same ang kanilang signs automatic the product is positive whether those signs are negative and negative. And then another rule, if the signs are different, automatically your product is negative. So I have here a four item activity wherein you need to apply what you have learned from this video. I hope sa ating mga viewers, you can still do this para practice nyo kung ano yung natutunan nyo sa ating match tutorial. So, pwede nyo comment sa ating comment section, what are the products, what is the product of these integers? So, again, I'm Teacher Gon. Kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like, subscribe, at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button para updated ka sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!